Good evening. Welcome to live from the living room from a swelteringly hot south side of Glasgow. I'm David Burns, and uh, here in the Havering Studios, aka my front room, we uh, bring you a live acoustic session every Wednesday night here on Twitch. And my guest this week is Riley James. This is a uh, this is a blues song I wrote when I first arrived here. About a uh, ex girlfriend I had. Times I thought the only reason that she lay with me was to keep herself from dying cold. And oh, I'd hurt that she gave me, oh, just gave me the strength, just gave me the strength. Walk alone. So here I said, Oh, I'm missing my home. Yeah, every moment we're keeping it keeps me going.
that's up from that one. That's okay. <laughs> that's good stuff there. Um, we've had a, sl a slight technical hitch on the, the live stream tonight. Hopefully everything's going okay. Um, we lost the sound boss we were trying to set up, so hopefully you can hear us all right. And I think with the the video has been a little bit glitchy, but we'll we'll press on. Uh, hopefully we can get well, to the end it, with everything if it, working. If it all doesn't blend together, we can just we can just do it again. We it's can, yeah. Get another another show sometime, but uh, uh, it, it's, it seems to be more or less working. We'll we'll, yeah. we'll press on. Do you have anything going on later tonight, or not really? No. Yeah. So if it, you know if it doesn't work, we could we could run through it again. Yeah. I, th I think we're okay. Um, cool. So uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you're enjoying the show and if, if you can let us know that it's all working, uh, give us a wee shout uh, in the chat room. Say hello. Uh, if there's anything that uh, you want to ask Riley about, uh, leave a question in the chat room. We'll read that out there. Um, so uh, what we're we gonna what we gonna have next? Uh, I wrote a song. Um, this next song I'm doing, I wrote it. Uh, my dad passed away a few months back. Sorry to hear that. And uh, I was I was ha I was having a writer's block, and I decided to go out and walk out in these trees, and I noticed this big massive tree, a big I think it may have been an oak or some I don't know what it was, but it was just this big tree, and it just it just fell over, and I thought to myself, sometimes I wish I was just a mighty oak tree. And uh, that's the that's the premise of the song. Basically, it's uh, it's kind of about my father in a way, and then it's just a song about resilience and 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 just just no matter what comes your way, you can overcome it. You know, you, you just you just find your center and you work on yourself and you try to find happiness and joy in whatever way that you can, and uh, that's what this song touches on. But. Uh, the song's called uh, Mighty Oak Tree.
Well, winners have come and winners have gone. That's a beautiful song. Yeah. I think the analogies of it, I think the, I think the fact that we, every one of us, sometimes we have these thoughts that, you know, we, we want to be this big, strong, you know, oak tree or just something stoic, you know, and, you know, just something magnificent. And, um, that's what that song was for me. It was just kind of me imagining that, like just me being this big oak tree and watching the years go by. My favorite, one of my favorite lines of that song is, um, how's it go? Um, uh, I believe there is nothing that we call time, but these years pass me by and I grow higher and higher. And uh, just the concept itself, it just it questions reality and everything. What is time and how, how time is fleeting and just all of these separate things, you know. Uh, to view it from a, from a different perspective, from the, the more kind of short human time frame into something a bit yeah. more. Yeah, I mean, yeah, tortoises, yeah. they live like 250 years, you know. Yeah. It's, it's just crazy to me. We're just like, a, a wee blip to them. We're just this tiny, tiny blip in this in this world and... For me, when I play music, my my most important thing is to um, just just try to be the best person that I can be and a good person. And and if I can sit down and talk to somebody and and, and help them in any way, in any shape or form, that's that's my pedestal. That's what that's what's important to me is to just help people. And I think that's that's why I'm here. You know, I think that's yeah. exactly why I'm here. This could be I could be wrong, but you know I feel like I feel like that's my that's purpose. That's a pretty good thing to be here for. Um, yeah. And there's, there's there's something so fundamental about music that seems to to connect with people, and I find that myself a lot when I'm out busking. You lot, almost every day somebody will come up and something that you played will have will have touched them, mm-hmm. and they could have, you know, I've, I've had folks that sort of sit down and sort of tell me their life story just from a song that I've it's played. It's amazing. Yeah. Totally amazing. 
It's like uh, when you, when you sing a song and someone can relate to it so much, they feel like they can come up to you and just tell, tell you know, everything. tell you everything, yeah. and then kind of get your perspective, and they want to know what what you think, and just kind of, you know, to get your idea on on and on what you think that that certain ways they could tackle things or just an understanding just even that just just finding just someone that just that understands level. you know i think that's the problem with the to, to do, today's world and society is that we've lost the fact that that we're human beings and so many people are we're just divided by so many things like race and religion and um transgenderism homosexuality whatever it may be we just have these things that divide us and i think that i think personally i think that these things are put in place because there there's some evil evil people that 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 call the shots in this world and it's not like an illuminati thing or anything like that but i think that there's some some very evil people and they want to see us separated they want to see us at conflict and Aye. And you don't need to go into deep c conspiracy theories to, to think that you people the people that uh, put themselves in power will have reasons that they want to keep everything under control yeah and it's not even conspiracy theory no. a lot of it's nice it's a lot of it's true you know yeah. a lot of these things are coming to light and a lot of people are really starting to understand this and That's i'm kind of glad i'm at that cusp to where i can see like this younger generation and they're they're understanding it but then you have the other, the the other percentage that they're just they're zombies to their phone, and uh, in a way, a phone and all that stuff is an addiction. You know, we treat that we should treat that like a heroin addiction or like a, you know, like a uh, a, a, a glutton disorder or eating disorder. You know, yeah, anything that's that's keeping you from interacting with the people around you. Mm -hmm that's a problem and I there's, think so there's, too. there's a lot of people that say uh, will will put a lot of time and effort into profiting from keeping us just just on a very simple level just connecting to other people yeah and i think that's what it boils down to is profit and greed yeah and for me i'm not a greedy person i i don't get me wrong i like money i like money i like to live a, a a comfortable life you know i That's don't want to be a got, billionaire you got what you need yeah you know I, I i never understood the concept of a person having seven to twelve billion dollars and it's just I can't even comprehend and there's that. people starving in the same country you know yeah. and it's just i just can't comprehend it and that to me is just absolute greed and, and once, that's evil that's once just you've got enough to keep evil. a roof over your head your family feds mm -hmm. and a, a little bit so that you, you know you're not going to be starving anytime soon. What more yeah. does anybody need? Nothing. No. Nothing at all. That's how simple it is. And I wish, I wish a lot of people were like-minded like that. But I think that I, I, I'm starting to gain hope in humanity. I'm starting to think that people are starting to think like that. So it, it does feel as if there are there are some people that uh, are are more kind of uh, into that and kind of less about what we can do to, to keep us torn apart. It, it feels hard to remember that at the moment with Trump and Brexit and everything. Yeah. But when it comes down to it and you just... Just look just past look at, that. Forget all that and just yeah. look at the, the people around you. And just most look past are all right. that. Yeah, I think these people that are doing these things right now, there's these think tanks above them that tell them to do this and that and the other just to separate us and make us fight and argue and it's just a, it's it's just silly because when you really think about it a lot of countries have truly just become massive corporations and yeah. it's all about money and i mean within my life in the last 20 years i've seen so many things happen and I remember as a child, it wasn't like that. I'm sure you do as well. You're not yeah, much older than I am, and you see these things, and it's it's just a shame. But that's like I said, that's that's my for me. Like I'm not this beacon of light, but like I do this. This is my this is my tool. This is my pedestal to fight this is, that. And this is what uh, what artists do. We just we just try and do the best that we can with what yeah, we have. Yeah, I agree.
I totally and agree. That's what music is there for, to bring people together. Mm -hmm. We've got all, awfully deep all of there all early on the show. Yeah. Uh, shall we have another song? Yeah, yeah. Let's, have, let's get some more music on the go. I've got a... Um, let's see, what can I do this one? Oh, this is a newer song I wrote. This one's kind of got like a... It's kind of an Appalachian sound, because my people are from the Appalachians, so... But it's a fun song.
song. Right? Yeah, that was a it's a bluegrass song. I was wanted to write something a little bluegrassy. Yeah. Uh, so you say your that's kind of your your heritage, your people you're, you're from the, the Appalachian side of America. So what what brings you over to Scotland? Oh, love. That's that's a pretty good reason. Love and music. Um, I met a girl and fell in love and beautiful girl. We're still together. Fantastic. She's got two kids and I've got a little family. I never wanted kids. Don't get me wrong. I never wanted kids. But uh, since having kids, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't choose any other life, you know. These these you. little kids are my world, you know. Once once it happens to you, then it's it's that just takes over everything. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's it's just such a it, you can learn so much every day from them about yourself, about the world, about every different every different aspect. So it's great. I really like it. But um, my family, uh, the Scottish side of my family, they they came to. Uh, the Americas um, and settled in like Kentucky and Virginia and, uh, during the 15th century, and uh, they were the they were the first Scots when the English came. They they fought the the English out. They kept them out of the country. <laughs> and you can take uh, a Scot out of Scotland. But <laughs> yeah, you can't you take them out of you can't take a Scottish person out of a out of a Scottish <laughs> person. But uh, and then uh, my father's side is Native American, so. Um, very rich in heritage on both sides of the family. So, really interesting mixture of people. I take a lot of pride in my Native American yeah. roots. That's cool, cool also, too. Scottish as well. You know, I, when I moved here, uh, my last name's Wallace, and it's not William Wallace or anything like that. But like, but part of the clan somewhere. Yeah, it's a part of the clan. But when I moved here, I've I felt at home. Like I felt like. You know, it was it, there was something spiritual about being here, and I felt I felt at home. I felt connected. You know, like this is this was home. You know, that's cool. and I felt that way when I go to the Appalachians and things like that. So it's cool. That there's something just tied to that. That's yeah, it was just really interesting. It's a very spiritual thing. It was pretty neat, but I liked it. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it's an older song I wrote. Uh, not super old. I wrote it when I moved here, but it's kind of fun and quirky. Capture almost everything of them bitter, sweet old memories. Some you wish weren't there, but then I buy myself a little drink. Yes, yeah, some poison for the eat. All oh, my regrets Cause at least Oh at least Baby I am free Free to do As I please Oh at least Baby I am free To keep on moving on, whoa, oh, 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 mm, yeah, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, 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 mm, well, there are times that I won't. 
Watch them stars move side to side Oh, just a dreaming and a wondering About what's up there above About God, about God About love, oh, sweet love But then I buy myself a little drink Yeah, some poison for to ease all oh, my regret. Cause at least, well, at least, baby, I am free. Yeah, free to do as I please. Yeah, at least, baby, honey, at least, yes, I am free. Free to do as I please. Well, baby, at least, honey, I am free. We're free to do. As I please Baby, at least, at least I'm free Yeah, free to keep on moving on Free to keep on moving on to keep on moving on live from the living room sessions broadcasting here from the south side of glasgow uh with a uh, special guest this week riley james and uh, riley we were talking just before uh before we came on air uh you're telling me you've got uh, some recording plans coming up with your with the band getting yeah UK yeah actually um i've got a i want to release my first uk uh my uk release uh hopefully about, uh, excuse me um mid-august early september september something like that Gonna be uh, into the the studio over the summer then. Yeah, good stuff. We're gonna get in the studio in July and just and just pound it out. Just uh, uh, excuse me, get a you know about three weeks of uh, uh, sessions going and just just push it out there and pound it out and then if if there's anybody listening out there right now, if you guys I, have any connections with radio stations or anything like that and pass some names on because i'm trying to pass as many cds as i can out to I radio get stations to get some airplay so yeah. so that always helps it definitely does yep yeah it's uh, a good so uh, how many of you are, are in the band uh it's me myself or me uh myself you myself and uh I. and um uh, beth she plays violin and then uh finney plays the cajon so it's a very very simple little group, but um, it adds so much. Uh, with um, Beth playing the violin, it just takes it to a different dynamic. Uh, I have Finney holds this, just yeah. a just a solid beat, and he's just a he's an in the pocket percussionist. He's just he's just fabulous. So they compliment me so what they actually make me sound like I've good, like I'm actually talented. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, I you're like doing it. a good job in your own the night. They do it. They're doing well, so. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, to hearing that. So yeah, that's I am too. All right, we have before a the end of the year. Hopefully, that will be out. Our next show is uh, it'll be January or not Jan January. I got the hiccups. Um, July twenty seventh at Sweeney's, and Great we may even uh try to get something before then. 
because uh, just because. And then yeah, just um, to play. what's that? Just, just to play. Just, just to, to play, yeah. Oh, um, and then um, we're gonna try to get a little something together at this place called Avant Garde on, on I believe the fifteenth uh, of October, and then another date in September, and then. Um, I'm going to self-fund a tour, probably hit the road for about two weeks and just spread, spread the goodness and see what happens. Yeah, and see how many, how many places you can go and get, uh, get playing. Uh, yeah. so is there a, a website or somewhere that uh, people can look out for tour dates? You know, the only, the only way I can get like anything like, like that, I need to set that up, but I usually, I, it's through my Facebook and I'm going to get old, super old school MySpace. If you ever want to, if you ever want to listen to any of my old music, um, just Google search Riley James STL Music MySpace, and you will find roughly thirty-four songs that um, that uh, that are fun. They're old, but they're fun, you know. Cool. Well, uh, we'll we'll dig that uh, that up, and we'll put. Uh the link to that on uh, the Live from the Living Room Facebook page, and the link for that is on the screen. That's facebook.com slash live from the living room gigs. Cool. And uh, later on tonight, we'll get uh, a link up to, uh, to Riley's page where you can find uh, find where his music is. And uh, just before we go on to, uh, to the next song, uh, here's just a wee note of uh, who all is coming up here on the show in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I was just asking about the, uh, the the t-shirt I'm wearing. This is the Yellow Movements, uh, mm. who are uh, a, a group of bands based around uh, Colonel Mustard and the Dijon Five. Ah, okay. Uh, who have uh, j- uh, at the moment? I think they're away. Uh, I think they're playing in South Korea at the moment. They're part wow. of these um, uh, peace festival uh, gigs are taking place just now, where they're they're trying to get people in the south and the north uh, kind of communicating bringing people together through music just like we were talking about earlier oh that's it's cool a, a pretty amazing thing that's uh, awesome we're, we're hoping to get uh, the, uh, the guys in for a wee acoustic set sometime we'll just see if we can get that set up at some that's point cool but uh yeah they're a pretty awesome band if you ever get the chance to check them out yeah let's check them out for sure yeah. uh, what should we what should we do now got to, uh, what you doing to go i've got a i've got a song that i literally wrote about four days ago i went through this this big writing spurt, uh, and I wrote about five songs within four days. But uh, this is this song is called uh, "Take Me Where the Roses They Grow." Brand new one. I 
got all this weight on my back Sometimes this old life don't feel like a gift When you get tired of searching out of this hell
fantastic. So that's a, a brand new one. Yeah. So you've been, you're saying you've got hit a quite a, a good um, spell of writing, been quite prolific lately. Yeah. Is that the uh, the new guitar that's brought that one? That sounded really good. You know, I I don't know so. what it was. It was just like I said with my father dying. I wrote that song about oh, yeah, that yeah. that tree, and then that just sparked it. And um, I don't know what it is. When I write, uh, I feel like. It's not me that's writing. Like I feel like I'm, I'm just grabbing into the, something in the stratosphere is just coming through me, and I'm just writing. You know, just, uh, channeling something from something. Yeah, like it's, it's like I don't, I'm not. The, the certain things, certain lines, uh, I'll think about, but most of everything that I write literally is just something that's coming through me. You know, I, I, I have no control over it. And I'll, I'll force myself to write sometimes, and just you know, nothing, nothing good comes out. You yeah, know? It's, it's funny when you sometimes when you sit down and try to write, it just it just doesn't it happen. It just doesn't happen, you know. And some people are really good at it. Don't get me wrong, but it's just that different people just seem to work in different ways. Yeah, for me, I just I don't know. Like I I take music very spiritually, and uh, I take it not only spiritually but also as a tool to to help people and to 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 get people off certain certain situations so when uh when something's needing to be said when that that message comes through in the in yeah the songs. actually i have a song like the um was there one two more songs or uh, we can we can get a couple more in yeah okay i'm gonna do uh this song it's called double don't run double don't mind um i wrote this song in the uh in the absolute one of the worst points of my life I was really really struggling with uh, with heavy heroin addiction at the time and um, uh, oops and uh, it's one of those songs that just kind of uh, I have a tear pulling over here that thing yeah, right behind me but uh it's uh in a way it was like it was like a suicide note but not really a suicide note it was like a note to myself about me just giving up because i had become so consumed so consumed with my addiction and i just lost hope and i was just tired and but i knew at that i knew during my low my my most lost stages in light life there was always that that tiny glimmer at the end of the hall at the end of the at the end of the road there was always that tiny glimmer and um so i wrote songs that you know like search say for instance like this song devil don't mind and this was this was when i was in the throes of addiction and and it was uh it's a great song and i don't advise anybody to to practice and any sort of dabbling in drug addiction or anything like that to make themselves a, a better songwriter because that's yeah, just not foolish. Gonna, it's not going to work. But, you know, some people, they just fall into it. And then yeah. uh, some people, you know, it's just, it's a number of things, you know. For me, it was just a total accident. But um, it did, it, there were, uh, I did produce a couple good albums out of it. I'll say that. Some very, very very in-depth and perspective albums and when i was writing those albums and those songs my main objective was to understand to help people understand that there are people that really are suffering out there and there are people that are suffering far worse far worse than they are and if they can realize that when they're listening to a song and it's a blues song you know and it's like they can it can uplift them in a way it can make them a little you know life yeah, isn't that bad you know like bring them up out of the out of that horrible situation they can bring, yeah can, can rescue you from that yeah yeah but this song this song is called devil don't mind i wrote this song back when i was about 28 so it's about it's about 10 years old Devil don't 
mind. Ooh, get that right key, Riley. Devil don't mind if I play with you tonight. Haven't felt that sun is shining. And this poison is blood, it ain't doing no good. Got a dark cloud hanging over me. And I hear you laughing behind my door. You can't take it anymore. And I feel your eyes burning deep in my soul, burning a hole right through me. And like a blind man, I yearn for a sight to see all oh, them beautiful creatures that surround me. But I'm stubborn, I'm cold, and I keep going old. Morning time in this concrete desert. So tonight I don't mind if I rest in that clay. A thousand people. Wouldn't chase us away Because a one more drink Might kill that pain One more pill And I'll feel no more shame Love me as I go Don't you mourn for me Dance on my grave And spill your whiskey Cause that wind will keep blowing Them times it will change Broken hearts so men that will meet again someday. Yeah, one more drink might kill that pain. One more pill and I feel no more shame. Love me as I go, don't you mourn for me. Dance on your grave and spill your whiskey, cause that window keep blowing. In times it will change Broken hearts will mend And we'll meet again Someday Yeah, we'll meet again Meet again someday Yeah, we'll meet Yeah, we'll meet again, oh, we'll meet again someday. Yeah, that was a, that's an older song. Yeah. Then I got another one off that same album. It's called it's called Lord's Prayer. Um. This is a song about just being lost, basically. Okay. Trying to find yourself and being lost. And uh, I'll play this one. We call it a day after you. I think we can, yeah, we've got time for one more. Time and then that, that'll yeah. be our sign. Cool. But this song's, uh, this song's called Lord's Prayer. <laughs> and I'll do a little self plug here. The song's off Devil Don't Mind. It's uh, it's still available. Uh, if you want to go to MySpace, I've got so much music on there, and you can just download that stuff for free. And then on iTunes, uh, I had a group that was uh, called uh, Riley James and the Bad Men. That's more of that up-tempo, 60, melancholy lyrics over pop-centric uh, uh, music. So. But we'll get uh, we'll put the links on uh, on the Facebook page yeah. later on. This song's called Devil Don't Mind.
Thanks Thank for you. having me. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me. Brilliant. And thanks to everyone that was listening, if if anybody was. And uh, thanks to all that will listen in the upcoming uh, YouTube post. I appreciate all of you. And uh, like and follow. I've got a little Riley James YouTube thing as well. So good stuff. We'll get uh, post a link up to that. And uh, thank you for coming in, and all the best for the for the recording. And thank you, the, thank uh, you. As soon as I get one, that. I'll pass it along your way. Much appreciated. Thank you. Looking forward to hearing it. Oh yeah, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited uh, about it. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be good. Aye? It's gonna be one of best, my best ones. Well, uh, thank you for coming in, and uh, that's all we've got time for this week's show. Uh, join us again on uh, Tuesday. We've got uh, an extra show coming up this week. We've got uh, Ross Gilchrist coming on on Tuesday, and then uh, on the usual Wednesday night. We've got everywhere uh, coming in to do uh, the usual Wednesday night stream, and uh, I'll leave you with a, a little, uh, a little note of everyone that is uh, coming in to do the show over the next few weeks. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.